teaching how to draw a cartoon shark just like this one. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my eight and a, eight and a half by 11 sheet of white paper and a pencil. Those are the only materials you need to get started with this drawing. And the first thing I'm going to do is start with a curved line. Like this. You'll see I start at the top of the paper, just might have kind of bend up, and then brought that curve all the way down. If you take a look at the original drawing, you can see the same curved line right here. The next thing I'm going to do is make another line here for the nose. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space right here where the mouth is going to be. And make another line that comes down here for the chin and the belly. And I'm just going to stop right there. You can start to see the outline of the shark's body starting to take shape. Next thing I'm going to do is go back to the end of this line where the tail is. I'll draw a little notch here and then bring up the other side of the tail fin like this. So we have the outline of the shark's body connected to the tail. After that, I'm going to make the back or dorsal fin right about here. I'm just going to kind of put a little notch in it to add some character. Bring it to a point like that. From there, I'm going to come back up to the space that I left for the mouth. And I'm going to draw one curved line that comes up like this and then another one underneath. So we have a nice big smile that's going to be full of sharp teeth. One line there like that. Now, another thing I'm going to do is add the eye. Before I do that, I'm going to make a line that looks a little bit like an eyebrow. Of course, sharks don't really have eyebrows, but it just adds a little bit of expression. the eye right about there. After that, I'm going to make the center of the eye with a little bit of reflecting white light. Next, I'm going to put on the two pectoral fins that kind of look like arms in this drawing. So we'll have one pointing like this, and another over here on this side. Next I'm going to draw a line that sort of is going to divide two colors, the white of the belly and the blue of the rest of the shark's body. And if we look at our original again, you can see how this line starts right here above the mouth and curves down on towards the tail. So I'm going to add that right now. Notice I stop right here where the fin is because everything on this side will be white, but on this side it will stay blue. I'm going to pick up where I left off right here and end it right where the tail starts. Now I'm going to add a nostril right here and the fun part, filling in the teeth. So there are a lot of different ways to do this. I'm just going to make some kind of jagged 
zigzag lines up on top. And then down on the bottom, I'm going to have them drawn a little bigger, kind of sticking out. And then right here, where we're, I'm going to draw what looks like a chin, just kind of emphasize it with that line. Add another one right there to give even more of kind of a smiling look. And so I'm also going to put a few gills up here. So now we have the main part of the shark's body. We have most of the details as well. So to add a kind of a sense of motion or movement, I'm going to put some little curved lines here in different areas to add some action to the character. And that is our basic sketch. My next step is going to be to trace pretty much all of the lines I've drawn in red. I'm sorry, in black. And so when I finished uh, going back over all of those lines and have also shaded in the center of the eye except for just a little bit of white, I'm then going to take my blue marker and color every part of the shark except for the white belly except for everything that divides the white from the blue. And then I'm just going to take a red marker and just make two light red lines right here where the teeth are. I've uh, used colored pencil to just sort of lightly shade in um, an ocean color, but I've kept it really light so that sort of the boldness of the shark stands out. And then just for fun, I drew a frightened fish with some bubbles over here. So that is my tutorial on how to draw a cartoon shark.